Hello, I'm Dr. Kemp, the Hammond Doctor. I'm down here in the trenches, here in my organ room at Vintage B3 Organ, and I have a Leslie 122 amplifier, and I want to show you something that's uh, fairly common uh, when dealing with Hammond organs and Leslie speakers. Uh, it's something that um, uh, it's easy to, to evaluate and then to correct. Now here is a 122 amplifier installed in the cabinet and notice that with the 122 uh, you have two 12 AU 7 tubes. All right. Now of course, uh, the organ is already on. It's already plugged up. This is already plugged. Um, when this tube is good, your organ plays. It play. When this tube is good, this is your relay tube, uh, and it's and it's on uh, corral as it is right now. As you can see, the rotor spins slow. And if you switch it, when this tube is good, it will speed up just like this. And switch it back to corral, drum all low, back to corral. Of course, the rotor slows down, as you can see. Now, what will happen if I remove this tube? I'm going to show you what happens when this tube is either removed from the socket or this tube it goes bad. So in either instance, if this tube is removed from the socket, the same thing happens if this tube were bad. It's the same characteristics. Watch this. I'm going to use a tube glove here. Slip my tube glove over the tube. And instantly, without me changing the switch, this speeds up. You see that? It speeds up. And now, I still get the organ still plays. See, so the organ still plays. But so if you if there's a missing tube there, this is what's gonna happen. Or if the tube that's there is bad, this is what will happen. Now how do you fix that? It's a simple fix. Watch this. All I have to do is take this tube that I know that plays and put it in this socket and take the bad tube which we're gonna this is a good tube but let's say this was the bad tube and put it in in this socket now this tube which is a bad tube might it might play but it's dysfunctional, so it, it would cause this kind of characteristic. Okay? So what I would do, disconnect my Leslie, take my tube glove here, switch them around. Just, just put that one over here on this side. Put it on that side. switch the tubes around in other words so I'm taking the one that was in the relay and put it put it over here and I'm gonna I'm gonna plug this back up and watch what happens so you take the good tube from over here and move it to this side And 
the result should be that your rotor should slow down. This is in the corral setting, of course. What this tells you is that the tube that was in that socket needs to be replaced. So, I know that um, some of you who are out there, who are musicians and playing for churches, run into this kind of problem from time to time. And um, that's something simple that you can take care of. So I would recommend that uh, that you buy some additional 12 AU7 tubes. Um, you can buy some brand new tongue sole 12 AU7 tubes to have um, on hand in, in the event that something like this occurs. And um, you can put a, a brand new tube there and hopefully that will solve the problem. Now, if it doesn't solve the problem, then you, 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 you have problems somewhere else. You have some other kind of issue. Most likely, uh, your relay has gone bad if you have a mechanical relay installed in your amplifier. Um, but in many uh, instances, I have seen it be a bad 12AU7. You switch out this 12AU7, switch them around, the, the rotor begins to work uh, as it should. That's diagnostic. That tells you that the 12AU7 that was in that relay socket was was bad. You put a new uh, a new tube there. Everything starts to work fine. Problem solved. Um, and you can go on and play your music. Okay. So that's enough for this video. Until the next video, this is uh, the Hammond Doctor, Doctor Kemp, saying to you, please have a peaceful and wonderful evening. Goodbye.